I am here with a new topic, and today's topic is shock wave analysis. Now, this will be this we will discuss in three parts, and today I will present the first part that is how shock waves are formed along a highway. Shock waves have wide applications in the study of platoon formation and dispersion. Any change in the flow condition will travel in the form of a wave. which we call the shock wave so what is shock wave shock wave is similar to the wave produced by dropping a stone in water you must have observed that when you drop a stone in the water it creates disturbance and this disturbance travels in the form of waves same is the case with the traffic flow also whenever a disturbance is created in the flow shock waves are formed and these shock waves can move either in forward direction or in backward direction depending upon the nature of the disturbance and the flow condition so this is a by product of traffic congestion backup or queuing of vehicles as a result of a sudden decrease in the roadway capacity or due to lane closure behind the stop line at traffic light or maybe because of some accident on the highway or because the traffic stream is, is interrupted by a slow moving vehicle so these are the regions where shock waves are created this shock wave can travel either in the forward direction or they can travel in the backward direction so there are three types of shock waves backward propagating shock wave which is generally occurs behind a signal or behind a accident forward propagating uh, shock wave like beyond a signal or after the incident is cleared and it can be stationary also now when two streams having the same flow value but different densities join together then a stationary shock wave is formed or when two streams with different flow values but same density meet then also a stationary shock wave is formed now let me just go to the board now to explain the shock wave along a highway let us take one example of a highway where all these vehicles are moving at a speed of 60 km per hour and trajectory of all these vehicles are shown here where slope of each line will be 60 a a truck moving at a speed of 20 km per hour enters the highway at let us say time is equal to t 0 and this vehicle is moving this truck is moving at 20 km per hour and let us assume that the permit the passing is not permitted then all vehicles which are following this truck will be forced to travel at 20 km per hour and slowly a platoon will form behind the truck and this platoon will be moving at 20 km per hour so at any instant of time the last vehicle to join the platoon will be traveling at 20 km per hour but farther up stream all vehicles will be moving at 60 km per hour and beyond the truck there is no vehicle and it will be again free flow condition now since all vehicles in the platoon will be traveling at a lower speed at 20 km per hour so they will adjust the spacing and the concentration will increase the speed will be low 20 km per hour and at this speed concentration will be high so this will be the trajectory of different vehicles here all vehicles were moving at free flow speed at 60 km per hour and after entry of the truck all vehicles will be forced to move at 20 km per hour slope of each line here is 20 now you can see two lines of demarcation here one a a which is defined by the truck that is the free flow condition and 
the platoon and another is at bb which is a platoon condition and free flow condition the demarcation between the platoon condition and upward free flow condition now if you take flow density curve then let us say this is the point 1 which was at a time when the truck was not on the highway so slope of this o1 line will be 60 km per hour that will be the speed of the vehicles before entry of the truck and when the truck has entered let us say the density is now higher and this this is represented by point number 2 and at this point if you join this line o2 the slope will be 20 20 km per hour so these are two situation one given by slope of line o1 another given by slope of line o2 and the slope of this line 1 2 will be the velocity of shock wave the slope of line 1 2 will be q2 minus q1 upon k2 minus k1 that is the flow at point number 2 and point number 1 divided by difference in density at point number 2 and point number 1 now this is the velocity of shock wave now if this slope is positive the shock wave will travel forward if this is negative it will go backward and if it is zero it will be stationary with respect to roadway let us put some values here in the flow density curve at point 1 we assume that the flow is 1800 and speed of flow before entry of the truck was 60 km per hour and therefore the density will be 30 so this point here will be 30 vehicles per km and at point 2 we assume that the flow is now 2000 and speed of the truck is 20 km per hour therefore density will be 100 so this value represent here 100 and this flow will be 2000 so slope of this line will be 2000 minus 1800 divided by 100 minus 30 that is 11.76 km per hour now this slope is positive and therefore the shock wave will travel in forward direction now let us assume that this truck decides to exit after some time at the next intersection it takes a turn and leaves the highway so after the truck exits the vehicle will slowly accelerate and they would travel at capacity of the roadway section and slowly they will reach to the normal flow so now we can observe three states one before entry of the truck second after entry of the truck and third after exit of the truck now at this point the flow will be at capacity so you can see that this is the stage 1 where you have free flow conditions all vehicles are moving at 60 km per hour and after entry of the truck on the highway all vehicles move in platoon and the speed is 20 km per hour and after the truck exits at this point then there will be state 3 which will be flow with full section capacity so on flow density curve the slope of 1 2 will be the velocity of the shock wave which will be forming the platoon and slope of 2 3 will be the velocity of the platoon velocity of the shock wave which will be clearing the platoon okay slope of this line 2 3 will be q3 minus q2 upon k3 minus k2 now q3 will be the capacity of the section the flow maximum flow that can occur and this k3 will be the optimum density which will be half of the jam density and k2 i explained earlier so we can take one example to illustrate this process of forming shock wave that let us say the relationship between speed density on a section of highway is governed by green shield equation u is equal to 
100 minus 0.8 k. At a flow of 1000 vehicles per hour, a slow moving truck with a speed of 20 km per hour enters the road and exits after 800 meter. Now estimate the speed of the shock waves and distance the platoon will reach. So this can be solved with the background which I explained that if you assume u is equal to 100 minus 0.8 k then q is equal to k into u and that is k into 100 minus 0.8 u and if you solve this equation you will find that at a flow of 1000 the density will be 10.96 vehicles per kilometer. So these are the values of q1 and q2 that is the state 1. q1 will be 1000 vehicles per hour and k1 will be 10.96 vehicles per kilometer. Now after the truck enters the speed of the truck is 20 km per hour and if you substitute this u equal to 20 in this equation you can find that k will be 100 vehicles per kilometer and flow at this point will be 2000 vehicles per hour that is stage 2. Q2 2000 vehicles per hour, K2 is 100 vehicles per kilometer. So these are the points Q1, K1 and Q2, K2. So a speed of shock wave 1, 2 is Q2 minus Q1 upon K2 minus K1 and that gives you a speed of 11.23 kilometer per hour. So shock wave will travel at a speed of 11.23 km per hour. Now after the truck exits, Q will be the maximum flow at point number 3. So how do we calculate it? The free flow speed is 100 km per hour and the jam density is 100 upon 0.8 that is 125 vehicles per kilometer and therefore the maximum flow will be one fourth of free flow speed into jam density that is 3125 vehicles per hour. Now this is the value of Q3 here. Q3 will be 3125 vehicle per hour. So for state 3, Q3 will be 3125 and K3 will be half of jam density that is 62.5 vehicles per kilometer. So speed of the shock wave will be minus 30 km per hour. So platoon dispersion will be at the rate of 30 km per hour. The second point was what is the maximum Q? So time truck is on the road is 0.8 km divided by speed 20 km per hour that gives you 0 0.04 hour. So maximum Q will be 0.8 minus speed of the movement of the platoon divided multiplied by the time that is 0 0.35 kilometer. So maximum Q will reach or maximum platoon will reach up to 350 kilometer per hour. So friends in this session we have learned basic concept of shock waves in traffic flow what are different types of shock waves and how shock waves are generated on a highway. In the next session, I will discuss shock waves on signal control intersections. If you have any question, please do write in the comment box and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.